This is a photo that has touched countless Chinese people. An old man dressed in a military uniform of the People's Liberation Army. He tiptoed cautiously, looking at the U.S. aircraft carrier carrier helicopter. This old man is known as General Lu Hua Cheng, father of modern Chinese Navy and father of Chinese aircraft carriers. In May 1980, Lu Hua Cheng, the deputy chief of staff of the People's Liberation Army, led a delegation to board a U.S. aircraft carrier for the first time. But the U.S. military did not allow them to touch the facilities on the aircraft carrier on the grounds of secrecy. So, Liu Huaqing stood on tiptoes and stretched his neck to listen to the U.S. introduction. Humble like a student. Why is the aircraft carrier so important? Liu Huaqing believes that it was the emergence of the aircraft carrier that pushed the mode of naval warfare from a plane to a three-dimensional, realizing a true beyond visual range battle. But at that time, China's national power was limited. To develop aircraft carriers, industrial and technological capabilities were always a difficult problem to overcome. As early as 1970, Liu Huaxing personally presided over the drafting of the first aircraft carrier engineering report in the history of New China. September 1975. Liu Huaxing made the second proposal to build an aircraft carrier. He told Deng Xiaoping, then vice chairman of the Central Military Commission, to start the development of an aircraft carrier as soon as possible. The aircraft carriers has become the goal of General Li Huaqing's lifelong efforts. He once said, if China doesn't build an aircraft carrier, when I die I will not close my eye. The opportunity finally came, in 1985. Construction of the aircraft carrier Variag, the predecessor of leaning ship, started in Ukraine. Never thought that the Soviet Union disintegrated and the project was forced to stop. At that time, the completion rate of the Variag had reached 67%, and the entire hull had been built, and only the relevant power and aircraft carrier equipment were installed. In order to quickly accumulate experience and develop its own aircraft carrier, China purchased the aircraft carrier in 1999, after several twists and turns, it was delivered to Dalian Shipyard for modification on April 26, 2005. I can rest assured that the aircraft carrier is going when it is launched. In 2005, Liu Huaqing was happy to hear that the aircraft carrier was on top. Repeated three times, good. In August 2011, the aircraft carrier modification completed the first sea voyage experiment. Unfortunately, in January of that year, Liu Huaqing passed away in Beijing. China's first aircraft carrier, Liu Huaqing never waited. General Liu Huaqing's desire to fight for it all his life finally succeeded. It was General Liu Huaqing who opened China's dream of an aircraft carrier, making China's navy so powerful, and making China so powerful. At this time, the Chinese dream of an aircraft carrier is about to set sail. Thank you.